opening round, scheduled for 10. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Big puncher here in front of us, going up against the guy who can do a little bit of everything. A boxer, puncher, well-skilled, good athlete, well-conditioned. Yeah, the big punch, I think, is going to be in trouble, especially as the fight goes late. He's going to get more and more desperate, and he's going to look for that one bomb. And usually when you know it's coming, you can avoid it. Up top with the quick hook. Nice one. Scores up top with a left. The man has been stunned. Oh! Well, you knew his opponent could crack, and now he knows too. He is down. And right now, he's actually thinking about what he's going to do. Am I going to get up? Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. And he returns on that exchange. And just grabbing on to his opponent. The man's right hand scores well that time. Looks to the head. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date. He wants to get to it. Mike Tyson digs deep with a big uppercut. Ten seconds to go in this round. Okay, okay, relax now. We got How are you feeling in there? Just stay alert in there, okay? Right. Just stay I alert. I need, you to, I need you to come forward with your power hand. You don't need that. No, right? right? Keep circling. Don't fight his fight. Dab more, dab more, dab more. Listen, you need to make sure you push up. Throw more punches to the body. Throw more punches to the body. Step out with a jab. Then come back and throw more punches to the body. A new round underway here. The man's hoping that he doesn't make a defensive flaw like he did in the last round. That cost him a knockdown. See, that's where another set of eyes come in. That's where you depend on your corner. They're calm enough. They can... Oh, that uppercut got him badly. <laughs> Hey, I know he's not in great shape, but he's doing a very good job now all of a sudden of defending himself. And now just wasting Keep everybody's distance. time holding on. Protecting it. Big shot there. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Great hook to the head that time. man's out there just waiting on a counterpunch, isn't he? Yeah, well, first of all, why is it? Because he knows if he walks in, he's going to get caught. So what he wants to do is he knows there's basically a guard at that door. He's trying to get that guard to get out of there so he could go through that door. Keep your head moving. What is the formula for potentially defeating a prime Mike Tyson? Stand up to him. Same formula when you Let's were a kid and you were in the schoolyard with that bully. When he goes after you, don't run away from him. Stand right up to him. Do not submit. He cannot deal with resistance. He cannot deal with somebody saying, okay, I'm going to actually make you fight. 
A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. Listen, I need to see more counter punches, okay? Whenever he misses, come on. Nice and relaxed. Good, good. This is what I need you to do. Keep shooting a jab through his chest. His hands will drop and follow with the power shot. All right, keep this guy off balance. Much better. I don't know that there's any hope here as we start this new round. He's been knocked down numerous times already tonight, including the last round. And I'm sure on that fateful night with Corrales and Castillo, when Corrales had already been on the floor two times, his mouthpiece was out, it looked like it was over. I'm sure nobody thought that it was only beginning. And it was. Corrales came back and scored a knockout. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. That is a classic Tyson uppercut. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. An accurate left by Mike Tyson. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the man. Back to the body. Yeah, good work. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Mike Tyson is giving us a taste of some of that athletic ability, that hand speed right there. Good combination. And his opponent, though, now is going to have to show us that he, he gets to... Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Can you believe that? What a huge punch. You couldn't have seen that one coming. And those are the ones you usually don't prepare for. You prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated, the ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for these. And it's all over. Tyson's opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. Oh, that's a big win. That's a big win that's going to get everybody in the division's attention. Mike Tyson's power ends this early. You see results like this sometimes from combination, but one shot, wow. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time ringside.